Um, Malcolm in the building. Malcolm, what up, my guy? What's going on? I'm good. I'm good. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm enjoying this off season. Yeah, man. Appreciate you taking the time out. Sure, for sure. Cool. So let's get into it. If you don't know, my name is O. I'm the senior coach of partnership strategy for finish line. So you put together community of voices to help, you know, educate people on what's going on, different topics within the community, and to give back. So yeah, you know, last week we had Julius Randall continuing the conversation on education, especially like in low-income communities. So now we're going to continue that conversation with you. So appreciate you being here with us. Absolutely. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, cool. So as we get into it, you know, processing and social injustice, you know, that's something in your genes and, you know, in your blood as your grandfather walked, uh, walked with Dr. King. So tell us about your experience and your approach to what's going on in our society. Yeah, you know, my, my grandfather did uh, walk with Dr. King. So, um, you know, I feel mm -hmm. like forever my family has been uh, always been advocates of the black community um, and what we're going through. And for me, it's it's about carrying on that tradition and using my platform as best I can while I'm in the NBA, while I have a voice that people listen to, um, mm -hmm. to better the, the people around me, especially the black community. Um, so that's what I've, I've tried to do. I've, I've been in the streets, I've protested. Um, I'm continuing to use my voice to get people out to vote. Um, you know, I, I, I just want to keep the attention on uh, the social injustices that are going on in the black community right now. Yeah. And we definitely see you on the streets, you know, you talk the talk and walk the walk. So me personally, I appreciate that because, you know, a lot of people move behind the scenes, but, you know, sometimes people need to see the people you look up to, like yourself in the streets protesting with them. So those little things go a long way. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And we know you love basketball, but your light passion is more so around helping people. So how are you able to balance the needs of like, you know, what's going on in the, in the community as well as what's going on in the NBA as far as, like, you know, performance and things like that. You know, it, yeah, a lot of people say, uh, you know, keep your business life and your personal life separate. Um, <clears> you know, <throat> this is something that's so complicated. And for me, this is something that's more important than basketball. Um, yeah. People's, people's rights, civil rights, especially uh, brown and black people. So mm -hmm. uh, that's something I'm, I'm far more passionate about than basketball. But at the same time, I have a job. And at the same time, I have to bring, uh, you know, money home to my family. I have people I have to provide yeah. for. Uh, so I have to do my job. And I, I, you know, for me, I'm a guy that if I start something, I'm going to finish it. Um, yeah. So, you know, that was the interesting thing about the bubble. Guys that decided not to go, guys that uh, decided to go. I don't think there was a wrong or right answer. Uh, yeah. But for me, I was on the side of going down there, continuing to use my platform, while also, um, you know, continuing to play for the money that, that I had signed for and doing my job. Right. And that's the thing where, you know, people don't realize what you're doing. It's, it's, it's a real job, you know. So you have to be able to still work and provide for your family. And it doesn't have to be, like, black and white. You can still do both, like, play basketball and still, you know, show support to, you know, BLM and things of that nature as well. Right. Right, right. No, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. So I know the NBA, you know, they're really big on voting right now. So talk to me about why voting is such an important topic for the community, especially with this upcoming election year. You know, I, I think it's more imperative now to vote than it ever has been. I think this mm -hmm. is, for me, the most important election that I've been alive for. Uh, so it's it's important to get on vote. That's especially in the black community. It's one of the few powers that we have um, yeah. to, to real to implement to implement real change. Um, so I want to encourage people to vote, not just black people, everybody, everybody from every race has to vote, uh, cause every vote counts, every vote matters. Um, and that's the way if we're not going to change policies and we're not going to, um, you know, change the government and, um, and the system right now, the way that we can impact change right now is to get out and vote. So we have to get registered. We have to go to the polls. Absolutely. Especially like you mentioned, this is probably the most at least of our lifetimes, the most like important election year. So just want to encourage everybody to register to vote and make sure you put that, you know, that vote into the ballot. Absolutely. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know you have some ties to East Africa. So um, talk to us about that and what you've been doing over there. For sure. You know, um, in, in, in college at University of Virginia, I ended up getting my master's in public policy um, because I, I thought policy was 
was the way that you could, you know, um, uh, make real impact, make real change in a, in a country or in the world. Um, but through that, I also, in that policy program, I learned about clean water. I learned about, um, you know, all the necessities and all the, uh, you know, how things like water, things like education, things like mm -hmm. health, all these things impact uh, not only first world countries, but, but third world countries as well. And yep. my passion has always been in Africa. I, I was able to travel there as a, as a child um, and got to really see how people were living on the other, in the other half of the world. Um, and then I ended up, my thesis project, I ended up doing it with a clean water organization called Pure Mahdi, um, mm -hmm. that was UVA based. Um, and we basically created the, they, they were creating these ceramic water filters um, that were filtering the water um, to uh, the Limpopo province of South Africa. Um, but, you know, people that really didn't have much, um, definitely didn't have clean water. So it was something important. I was really fascinated by that project. So then once I graduated, um, I partnered up with the Chris Long Foundation and started my own init clean water initiative where we were building clean water wells in East Africa, Tanzania. So, mm -hmm. you know, we raised uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I did it with a few of my counterparts in the NBA, four or five other guys um, that really helped me in the cause. And, you know, it was hugely successful over the last two to three years. So, um, you know, it, now I've brought it over to my foundation and, you know, I'm super excited. I'm growing it. I have about 15 NBA players, three or four WNBA players. So it's something that's growing. It's gaining traction. It's gaining attention. But the, the most important thing about it is that we continue to raise money so we can continue to build these wells. Uh, mm -hmm. We're expanding to Kenya now. So, um, you know, the goal is to, as long as there are people out there that don't have clean water, I mean, it's something that I feel like people in this country and me before I learned about this couldn't fathom not having clean water. As right. long as people don't have clean water, there's always a job for us to play. Exactly. And where can people find out more information on this? Uh, go to the Brogdon Family Foundation dot org. Cool. The website. Yeah, I, lo I love what you're doing because, you know, it's crazy to think with Africa having probably like the most valuable like natural resources on Earth and, you know, people that are not having like clean water. So definitely salute you and what you're doing over there. I appreciate it. Yeah. And that's a nice segue into the Brogdon Family Foundation. So how did that come to fruition? Uh, you know, man, it's always been sort of a dream for me uh, to have my own foundation, um, to have my mom. My mom is a, has been a provost, a professor. She's played mm -hmm. all different roles and positions at Morehouse College here in Atlanta. To take her from there and, and have her be the executive director of the foundation, and we do a lot of amazing work. So, you know, I've gotten to this point in my career where I'm on my second contract. I have the resources, I have the money, I have, you know, connections that have allowed me to build a, a strong foundation. And my mom yeah. is now going to be the executive director. Um, so, you know, it, it's worked out in a multitude of ways, helping people on a large scale, but also, you know, having my mom run it and, and do a really good job. So in the, under the foundation, we have a water initiative, which is what I previously talked about. And we also have an education initiative that will focus on uh, mentoring and, and literacy in Indianapolis and also in Atlanta. Cool. Shout out to moms. Yeah. Okay, show her yep. love. So what for the people viewing, what can they do to help, you know, inform themselves or even help kind of solve this education gap, especially between like, you know, lower income uh, areas? Like, uh, how can we close that gap? I, I think one people can educate themselves and understand um, mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, there's so many people here that, in this in, in the states especially in the inner cities that don't have access to quality education that don't have yeah. access to um a lot of things that other that people of the middle class and above don't even think about um mm -hmm. so educating yourself reading um but also going on our website go on our website there's a lot to learn there's a lot of information on there um even if you're not giving dollars it's just educating yourself i think is the biggest is the biggest first step yeah Especially, you know, you think about something that may not affect you directly. So it's just like out of sight, out of mind. But it's a real thing that happens, you know, to different uh, communities just because of what zip code you may live in. So Right, right. Yeah. It, you know, there's so, many, there's so many kids that are born into families or neighborhoods that are, happen to be in the, in the wrong area. Mm -hmm. And suddenly you're treated as an outcast. Suddenly your rights are taken away. You, you're, uh, you know, you're looked down upon. Your opportunities are taken from you. So... Those are the things that we have to change, and that's part of the the, the bigger system that is uh, very very flawed. Yeah, for sure. 
So, you know, we at JD Sports and Finish Line, what you're doing, especially you've been like so real and giving back and being in trenches and, you know, really advocating for all this. So we want to make a nice donation to the Brogdon Family Foundation and pull out the checkbook real quick. There we go. So we want to get 15000 to uh, the Brogdon Family Foundation. I know it's reverse and it's IG Live, so you can't really see the check, but I'll send a picture. No, yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I see it clearly. I see it clearly. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, yeah, we definitely want to show you love and, you know, we support what you're doing. Shout out to Andrew. Shout out to CAA. Shout out to JD Sports and Finish Line. Um, and, yeah, you know, keep up the good work and, you know, appreciate you taking the time out again, especially having these, you know, meaningful and important conversations. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me. I appreciate the contribution. I, I, I really do. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I'm sure you're busy. You know, you got, you know, you're trying to finish out your summer. So appreciate you taking the time and, you know, we'll talk soon. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, of course.